the amplitude here, right? Yeah. Outside. So so basically the electric. So let's start with a. Uh, e has to be represented by some amplitude e zero, which represents the direction of the electric field, e to the i, k x minus omega t. Yeah. So this guy will have in him the direction of the electric field. So it has to be along, so for A, the electric field goes along minus 6i plus 3 root 5j. And if we normalize this. Yeah, that's what I found it for. Oh, wait, so that the, yeah, yeah, because the. Okay, yeah, so this is uh, the direction of the uh, electric field. Yeah, we could normalize it You know uh, 36 find the unit vector and divide each one of these by that so uh, 9 times 5 is 45 uh, So that's the uh, unit vector. So what's that 70? 81 so that's a 9 and then so uh, Just divide each one by that. So it's along the direction uh, minus two thirds I plus root five over three J. Yeah. Right. So this is the direction of uh, polarization. This is the direction of polarization. Yeah, and that's exactly opposite to the... Questions on that? Okay, and for B, they want the uh, scalar value of the amplitude of the electric field. Okay. How are we doing? Um, well, I mean, uh, it's, it's just, uh, uh, whatever the magnitude of the vector times the 10 to the four. Yeah. It's, uh. So the amplitude is just uh, a six squared, right? So that's 36 plus 45. So that's the magnitude of that, which we got here, by the way, uh, times 10 to the four. Was it 10 to the four? Yeah, 10 to the four. So that's uh, nine. Uh, 9 times 10 to the 4 volts per meters 9 times 10 to the 4 volts over meters because the uh, electric field is because V is ED EDL so uh, this is in meters this is in volts so E will be um, uh, volts over uh, meters yeah uh, and C, you want to attempt C, what's C? The direction of propagation of the wave. Right. Yeah. Which is the direction of K, basically. It's the K vector. With the magnitude of the K vector being the wave number. See, the third thing here is the direction of propagation of the wave. And uh, this has to, of course, travel in the k direction. And uh, we know that uh, uh, we know uh, the screen just froze on me one second. Okay, so uh, uh, let's see uh, the direction of propagation. So we know that this guy here. Uh, represents k dot r uh, 
uh, this guy here uh, right here represents uh, k in green represents k dot r so we know that r is x in the i plus y in the j so for the dot product to give us that that means the numbers has to be the k so k has to equal uh, one third pi times 10 to the 7 into this is the propagation vector uh, root 5 i plus 2 j so if we dot this with the uh, r vector we get what's on the exponential in the e field uh, so this is the direction of propagation of the wave we can normalize it and make it into a unit vector but either way this specifies this vector is enough to specify the direction and uh, then uh, the propagation number so the propagation number would just be uh, the uh, k the magnitude of k so that would be uh, let's see uh, uh, k as uh, root 5 i so this is 10 to the 7 uh, so we have k equaling uh, pi times 10 to the 7 over 3 times uh, the magnitude so root 5 squared plus 2 squared square root so we get uh, what's this 5 4 9 3 so this guy cancels that guy and we get pi times 10 to the 7 uh, so this is the propagation number and uh, this is and this is 2 pi over lambda so it's per meters okay and part D is uh, oh okay we were in D so this was D and then the second part of D is the wavelength well uh, k is 2 pi over lambda so lambda is 2 pi over k as well so this will be 2 pi over uh, pi times 10 to the 7 so we get 2 times 10 to the minus 7 meters or 200 nanometers So this is the wavelength, and then uh, E is the frequency and the angular frequency. Uh, the frequency, so this is om omega t is here, so this would be what multiplies the t is the frequency, so 9.42 10 to the 15th. So uh, E. 9.42 times 10 to the 15th radians over seconds um, and the what else the frequency and the angular frequency so uh, so the angular frequency is the omega and the V is uh, uh, or F is uh, 2 pi over omega uh, or it omega yeah omega over 2 pi because uh, omega is 2 pi f <coughs> it's dividing by the radians to get hertz per second so this is 9.42 times 10 to the 15th over 2 pi uh, which turns out to be 1.5 times 
you could have put steam over seconds or hertz. Okay, let's see. And let's see, part uh, the speed. Um, the speed of the wave, well, um, the speed of the wave. Yes, the speed of the wave is just lambda uh, times the frequency, right? Because this is over seconds. Uh, think of it in terms of units, and this is in meters, so you get meters over seconds. So the wavelength in meters multiplying how many oscillations we have per second would give us the speed of the wave. So uh, this is, uh, we got the lambda to be. Uh, uh, I mean, you know, this wave has, let's see, uh, double, uh, this is 200, 2 times 10 to the minus 7. To the minus 7 per second times uh, frequency was what here? 10.5. Times ten to the fifteen. Uh, now this is in meters, and this is over seconds. So what do we get here? Uh, ten, three, ten to the eight. So speed of light. So this is indeed an electromagnetic wave. Uh, I don't know if the question said that. Well, oh yeah, as expected, it has to be the speed of light because electromagnetic waves travel at the speed of light so we should have known that we just confirmed it with the numbers okay so all good this answers every bit of what the question is asking